Greetings, Internet, and welcome back for another episode of Fun Size. Yep, that's correct. For today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at a kind of cereal. Now, it's your usual standard fare, but they decided that they were going to go ahead and change the size of the actual little cereal pieces. For any of you who are not familiar, I believe, let me just take, take a second here, yep, General Mills decided that they were going to make mini size versions of their normal cereals. And for whatever reason, I think it's just these main three here. I don't know if it's any others because I haven't really done any research. I just spotted these on the store shelves and I was like, tiny tricks, huh? And then I looked further over on the shelf, it's like, tiny cinnamon toast crunch? Hmm. Okay, that's kind of weird. Tiny Reese's Puffs? And that was when I was like, yeah, yeah, this is worthy of a video. And so, as you can tell by the fact that I have all three right here, I decided I was going to purchase them. So, I'm not really expecting the taste to be different. I'm more expecting the, well, the mouthfeel, obviously, is going to be different. And I'm curious how weird that's going to be. The other thing I noticed is that, like, uh, say when it comes to the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it's not the actual little cereal, excuse me, not the actual little cereal shapes, like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch thingamabob right there, the little square dude. Supposedly, they're all just going to be little itty bitty pieces, like little itty bitty tiny Reese's Puffs, almost, by Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And apparently the same applies to the tricks. So without further delay, we're going to get right on into this. I'm not sure which one I'm going to start with, but I'm thinking I'm going to start off with Reese's Puffs. So, let's set these other two aside. <clears throat> and let's get this thing going, shall we? So, one thing that's kind of interesting and notable about these is you can build a mini kitchen for big fun using the back of the box, and also apparently a pair of scissors to cut it out. For the Reese's Puffs, we have, let's see here, everything is way more fun when it's mini, which means there is no, uh, no better enjoyment. Let me try that again. Everything is way more fun when it's mini, which means there is no better place to enjoy a bowl of minis than in your very own mini kitchen. There we go. That, that <coughs> I got it. Assembly instructions. Cut out all the pieces on dotted lines, fold all solid white lines inward, and assemble with tape as shown above. I think I'm actually going to do that. Not right the second, but you know, after I've actually tasted the cereal and after I've emptied the box at some point. So this video is going to take a little while. Bear with me, folks. At least on that front. But as you can see here, We've got like the little kitchen cabinets over here. Oh, there we go. Didn't realize there was a glare on the sink. But we got like the little kitchen cabinets. We got like the countertop with the sink over here. Got an actual little tiny box, a little itty bitty mini box of Reese's Minis that we get to put on the countertop. And then we got more countertops or counter space over here and more cabinets. And we've got a whole backdrop over here. We got a window looking out to the backyard, which apparently is fall themed. I know it's just, you know, the Reese's Puffs colors, but that's also autumnal color, uh, not flowers, leaves on those trees. And you even get an old school 80s-esque boombox to go with everything. I like their style. Now let's see, uh, Reese's Minis, enlarged to show detail. For whatever reason, that's funny to me. The Minis are enlarged to show detail. Are they going to be that small then? I almost bopped myself in the face. You see that? It's early in the morning for me. Uh, made with real Reese's peanut butter. And then, of course, the same thing in Espanol. I'm, I'm going to butcher this, but I'm going to say it anyway because I'm trying to broaden my horizons when it comes to my vocabulary and my ability to speak other languages, even if it's just Spanish. Uh, hechos con la ver... Verdadera, verdadera, mantequilla, or mantequilla, mantequilla de mani Reese's. I'm not sure about that. Is that 
would you say that's mantequilla or mantequilla? Because, you know, if you take off this part right here, it's basically tequila, but I think it's got one extra L. Anyway, without getting any more offensive, let's go ahead and check on those nutrition facts for those calorie conscious like myself. Let's see, uh, nutrition facts are as follows. Uh, the serving size is one cup or 39 grams. And the amount of calories per one cup 39 gram serving of Reese's Puffs Minis is 160. But when you add in a half cup of skim milk, then that bumps up to 200 calories. Yay! Little itty bitty cereal pieces, big calories. So anything else to note on the box? Nope. Okay. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and break the seal on the box itself. And we get our first glimpse of the minis. Hmm. You know what these things kind of remind me of? This isn't a cereal that I personally got to eat because, well, I was born about a decade too late. But those Nerds cereal. They're the Nerds cereal they had back in the 80s, I think. I've seen pictures of it. And the cereal pieces I've seen in those pictures look kind of like this. Only purple and pink, I believe, were the colors they chose. Regardless, crack open the bag. And let's get a whiff. Yep, smells like your standard, cin not Cinnamon Toast Crunch, your cin standard Reese's Pieces. <clears throat> I'm having one of those days where I just cannot talk. All right, so it smells good. It looks interesting. And the only way to find out how well it actually tastes is to grab our handy dandy. Come on now, our Handy dandy. There we go. Cereal bowl mug. And we pour ourselves a bowl. As it were. Reese's Puffs. Also, if it wasn't obvious, I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by the Reese's Company or Hershey or whichever or Kel General Mills, I almost said Kellogg's, not General Mills, nor Kellogg's. No one sponsors this show except me. My pocketbook pays for all this shite. Pardon my language. To all my German viewers, I think, sh I think that word is German. Let me know in the comment section down below, is that German or is that a different language? Anyway, fold down those flaps and lock it in like that after rolling down that bag to keep in that freshness set that aside and as per usual we're going to go ahead and oh they're so cute actually you know what these remind me of what these actually remind me of i don't know if they still do this but way back when uh there was this one pet store that my family would go to on occasion because it was literally right next door to the house and we would go there just to spend some time away from the house and just have fun and you know look at stuff. A family outing is the word I'm looking for here. And there were these koi fish, I think it was, or they were just really, really big goldfish. And there was this gumball machine thing filled with like fish food, you know, the big like pellets. To anyone else who has similar memories of that, do these kind of remind you of those fish pellets? You'd like put a quarter or 50 cents in the thing and you get a handful of stuff and then you just like sprinkle it into the water and the fish would come up and go, 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 and then they'd like fight each other for the last couple of bits. Whoop. <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> I've got some Ziploc baggies filled with like action figure pieces on the floor and one just tickled my foot and I was like, spider? Like I said before, it's early. <laughs> My brain no work this early in morn. Now then, as per what we usually do, I'm gonna take a piece of each, one chocolate and one peanut butter puff, 
and we're going to try them each together without milk first. Nice and crunchy for being the itty bitty things that they are. Okay, the peanut butter one tastes fine. The chocolate one also tastes fine. And they taste just like their normal size counterparts. So before this video gets any longer, we have the cereal, we have the milk. Let's put these things together, shall we? Goigle, 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 and stop. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to take that first bite of the partially rehydrated milk, not milk, cereal. To your health, everyone. Oh, I should also show this is the cereal when it's wet. So, to your health. Yeah, it still tastes like your standard Reese's Puffs. I think I've said that a few times. The mouthfeel is actually quite interesting. All right, so if you're actually a fan of Reese's Puff cereal, I do recommend these. With that said, I'm gonna finish off this bowl and when I come back, I'm probably going to be wearing a different shirt. And we're going to jump into the next cereal. So stay tuned, everyone. All right. So we took a look at the Reese's Puffs. The little itty bitty mini Reese's Puffs. Which, thinking upon it, they what they actually remind me of, a product that I have actually had during my lifetime, would be more like Dippin' Dots. Just because of how itty bitty little tiny they are and just because, you know, they're just itty bitty, they're tasty, they're crunchy. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so to give you all a quick little refresher, we now still have two boxes left. We have the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Minis and we have the Trix Minis. I don't know about y'all, but at this point in the video, um, hmm, I'm, I'm debating which one, which one should I have? Which one of these boxes of cereal should I open and put cereal into our handy dandy cereal bowl mug? Let's go with something kind of refreshing, something fruity. We're going to go with tricks today. Oh boy, almost knocked over my cup of milk. That would have been bad. <laughs> Uh, I would have been so mad at myself. All right, so we're going to go with tricks this time. Now, let's see. When it comes to the tricks, obviously, let's see. We got the little tiny tricks ball pieces. Very similar to the shape of the Reese's Puffs little tiny pieces. Because it's a little tiny a bit of mini trick cereal. Uh, let's see. On the back... We have some more stuff that can get cut out, but before we get to that, we got to do the nutrition facts for those calorie conscious like myself, like we did with the Reese's Pieces. The, not the Reese's Pieces, the Reese's Puffs. So nutrition facts are as follows. There are, let's see, approximately 12 servings per container, and each serving is one and a quarter cup, or 39 grams of this cereal. And the amount of calories per your one and a quarter cup or uh, 39 gram serving is 150. Before you add your half cup of skim milk, which brings this whole shebang up to 200 calories. Which is kind of weird to me because if I'm not mistaken, the Reese's Puffs was 160 calories and the milk would bring it up to 200. So if this is 150 calories, wouldn't that bring it up to 190? I don't know. There's something awfully screwy going on around here. Regardless, let's move on to the box itself. Ooh, I kind of like that. They've got a little hidden thing. But they still have more of the build your own mini kitchen to eat your own mini boxes of miniature cereals. Well, let's see. Everything is way more fun when it's mini, which means there is no better place to enjoy a bowl of minis than in your very own mini kitchen. Assembly instructions. With an adult's help, cut out all pieces on dotted lines, 
Fold all solid white lines inward and assemble with tape as shown above. That is what it says. Is what it says right here. And collect all three sets, which I have. But I don't get to play with this until all the cereal is gone. So, eh. it could be one of those things where I just do like a YouTube short of myself cutting out and assembling the thing and then like having a bowl of cereal while I'm sitting in my own little mini kitchen. Who knows how that's going to go. But as you can see, for this part, we've got a little bitty refrigerator. We've got a little bitty oven right up here with stovetop range. See, there's the oven. Here's the stovetop. We've got a countertop that looks like tricks. we got, like, cabinets and stuff. And then, for this one, we actually have little characters that we can place in the kitchen. And by characters, I mean we've got the Trix Rabbit and this nice little somewhat hidden one on the bottom of the box that seems like he's just a little bit smaller than the other one. So without further delay, considering how long this video is getting already, I'm just going to go ahead and open the box and open the bag. Get that first whiff. This time, it's mine. Hmm. Smells like your standard bowl of tricks. And as done previously, but we're gonna do it again because, well, for y'all, it's the same video. For me, it's it's a new day. It's a new box. <laughs> so our handy dandy cereal bowl mug. That was such a hard rotation that the spoon almost came completely out of the bowl. That was amazing. So as we did previously, we're going to pour the cereal into the bowl. Whoops, whoops, whoops. No, no. Stop, stop, stop. Lost like two or three, four <laughs> little cereal pieces. Dang it, tricks. Playing tricks on me? You silly wabbit. Be careful, Mr. Rabbit, or I'm going to send Ozzy Fudd after you. In the middle of the night, the shining white. <laughs> to anyone who knows what I'm referring to with that, you're awesome. Okay. So now we add the milk to this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Getting ahead of myself again. As usual, we're going to try the stuff by itself. There are several different colors because, well, it's tricks, so I'm just going to taste just like regular tricks, only it's a little itty bitty pellet size. So now we add the milk. That's enough. No, 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 no. All right. So let y'all get a nice little look at the cereal. And now I take a bite. After carefully extracting the spoon. There we are. Okay, here's what it looks like outside of the bowl. With the somewhat dis yeah, decent, somewhat decent lighting. Oh. Once again, as expected, tastes just like the normal thing, but it's just itty bitty. Dun dun dun. I do actually recommend this cereal as well. Because, well, it's just tricks. If you're a fan of tricks cereal and you want to have a different mouthfeel, you want to have a different little experience with it, go out and get yourself a box. So, on that note, we're going to cut this one here, and when I come back, we're going to be taking a look at the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Minis. I should have just called this one Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That would have been so much cooler, so much better, but then they would have had to try and outdo themselves when it came to the names for like the Trix Minis and the Reese's Puffs Minis. Regardless, everyone, stay tuned. All right, everyone, so far we've covered the Reese's Pieces minis, and then we covered the Reese's, not Reese's, the Trix minis. 
Now, we're moving on to the last in the trilogy, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Minis, which interestingly, apparently, are not going to look like little tiny Cinnamon Toast Crunch squares, which I may have said already. It's been several days since I started recording this video, so pardon me. Also, it is very early. It's not even 5 o'clock in the morning right now. This is my life because of the choices I've made. But anyway, we're not going to get into an existential crisis this early because I don't have a whole lot of time to record this, and y'all don't want to hear about that regardless, I don't think. Anyway, <clears throat> so Cinnamon Toast Crunch Minis. As you can see, it's the same format as the other two, just little itty bitty tiny balls of cereal that these ones actually do look like the stuff I was talking about at the start of this video. The, um, the little pellets that you'd get at the uh, pet store that you could feed to the koi fish in that, uh, that one, unfortunately, now defunct pet shop. With that said, let's see, uh, go over the rest of the box. I like the look of this box. It's basically just got the usual Cinnamon Toast Crunch aesthetic, just instead of being a big bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch down here, it's just a big cloud, like a cloudburst of all these little tiny cinnamon -y. Cinnamon, -y cinnamon Toast Crunch pieces. All right, so anything else of note on this box? Uh, when you do the cutouts, you know, when you cut things out, you can actually put a couple of those little crunchy, a, qu a quartet is the word I'm looking for, of those little crunchy squares in there. <clears throat> you know, the, uh, the little kitchen setup that we're gonna do once I've finished off all the cereal. Sorry, like I said, it's really early right now. Okay, so with that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's see, on this side, this actually has the backdrop for, what is this? This is the... Hold on, let me actually read the thing over here. Everything is more fun when it's mini, which means there is no better place to enjoy a bowl of minis than your very own mini kitchen. Okay, this is also still part of that kitchen. Um, oh, okay, this is like the center wall of your kitchen that you create using this. All right, all right, I see what you're doing there. And also, this happens to have the uh, dining room kitchen and chairs for your kitchen. And they're all going to have those crazy craving squares on them. Now then, moving on from that, the only other real thing of note is, of course, the nutrition facts for those calorie conscious, like myself, which is kind of a laugh at this point, because have you all been watching this channel for a while? Have you seen the junk that I've been putting into my body through my mouth? But anyway, the calories are, the uh, nutrition facts are as follows. There are 13 servings per container, and each serving is one cup, or 41 grams, which I believe is actually two grams higher than the other two cereals each. And the amount of calories per your one cup, 41 gram serving is 170. But then you add a half cup of skim milk, and that brings this up to a grand total of 210 calories, which means your half cup of skim milk contains 40 calories. Also, pardon my throat, for whatever reason, I, I think I inhaled one of my own hairs and just, it wrecked my vocal cords and I've been kind of like hacking and coughing, trying to get it back up. <clears throat> but anyway, so now that we got that part out of the way, uh, let's see, anything else? I already talked about the back of the box, I already talked about the side of the box, I already po pointed out the little things at the bottom of the box, uh, yeah, okay. So without further delay, ladies and gentlemen, everyone else in between, I'm gonna crack open the top of the box, like that, get all those flaps then done, uh-huh, then we pry that open, like that, we pull up the bag, and we are gonna break the seal on that, just like we did the last two. Only instead of being peanut buttery or fruity, this one's going to smell like cinnamon. Hmm. It, it's, it's not the most potent cinnamon smell that I've smelled, especially from Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by General Mills or anyone else associated with them. 
Then again, it might be my uh, my nose is a bit stuffed. But yeah, it doesn't really have that big of a, an oomph of that wonderful cinnamon aroma. Regardless, now we are going to grab our handy dandy cereal bowl mug. Got it on the first try that time. I'm impressed with myself. The last couple of times, I more than likely left it in. I could not get the spoon to do a full rotation. But I'm wasting time talking about that. So here we have a cereal bowl mug and accompanying spoon. And we add the cereal from the left today, because I'm feeling fancy. I'm feeling like doing something a little different. Oh, 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 oh. That was almost too much. Did I just drop one? I think my eyes are playing tricks on me. I swear to goodness that it, I thought I just dropped one of the little cereal pellets. Anyway, let's level that back off and roll down that bag so that we can fold the box tops so we can keep this cereal fresh longer. Okay, fold flap. One, two, three, and four. Come on, number four. Fold, darn you. There we go. <clears throat> there we go sealed for freshness and set aside and as we've done with all the other ones i will show you what the cereal pieces look like before here we are and taste them okay they might not have as much of the cinnamon toast crunch aroma as you would expect but the pieces still have that flavor and mmm that's the good stuff right there. Alright, well, if you're a fan of cinnamon. So now, we bring out our handy dandy cup of milk, as per the usual. And this time, because I don't trust my left hand enough to pour this, you know, to deal with liquids, we're going to go ahead and pour that with the right hand. And go! Goiggle, goiggle, goiggle! Blub dub 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 blub dub 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 doit 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 blub dub 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 blub dub 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 doit 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 blub dub 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 and stop. Hammer time. Alright. And this time I actually managed to do that without losing any cereal pieces. Yes! Victory for me! Alright, so here's a spoonful of the stuff rehydrated with milk and we'll see if that milk rehydration is going to make the flavor any better which given my usual uh, given my history with cinnamon toast crunch that usually does make it taste better so to your health everyone much better with milk actually the more I'm chewing on it it still tastes like cinnamon toast crunch but it's almost like with less sugar. It's weird. You wouldn't think the shape of the cereal pieces would change the flavor all that much. But with these ones, it actually does. It almost tastes like, and I use this word lightly, <clears throat> it almost tastes like diet cinnamon toast crunch. Okay, I got a better description. It's like when you get one of those kind of generic movie tie-in cereals that's supposed to taste like cinnamon. And it does taste like cinnamon, but it's not as sweet. The cinnamon isn't as impactful. That's what I'm getting from this. It's weird. So essentially, apparently, the formula of putting it on little squares makes it taste better than putting it on little tiny spheres. Hmm. I learned a little something today. All right, y'all. So on that note, I'm actually going to wrap up this video here and there will be an accompanying video where I put together the little kitchen set with all the little fiddly pieces and all the stuff and all the little characters. So thank you all so very much. Wait. Yeah, thank you all so very much for coming back and watching my content. I do truly and greatly appreciate it. If you like what you've seen here today, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Get yourself 
the click the little bell icon to be notified of future uploads once you are subscribed you'll be glad you did and for ease of access click on old jack in whichever corner it pops up in <clears throat> to get yourself subscribed and feel free to share my content with your friends if you think they'll like them and if you're not sure share it anyway because you could be surprised and with all of that out of the way this is your old exhausted friend Oxlimation saying I wish I were still in bed but dang it I gotta go to work because my job requires that I go to work stupid early in the morning before the sun even rises cowabunga and I'll see y'all next time later